What's up everybody, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech that helps improve your health and your wellness. And of course, just other tech that I think you would be happy with. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. So today we're gonna be going over the Fitbit Versa 2. Yes, I did purchase the new Fitbit Versa 2. I bought the Apple Watch Series 4 around November of last year, and it's been a great, um, I guess you could say a, a great smartwatch. It tells the time, of course, but then also has a lot of good features. It connects really well with all my devices where I could see messages, I can answer messages, I could see my reminders, see sports game updates, view pictures. There's a lot of things I can do with this Apple Watch. However, there is one thing missing that I just feel like Apple hasn't done right, and that's the fitness features. As somebody who is a health coach and loves fitness, I feel like a smartwatch, if it's on your wrist, one of the main functions that it should do is be a really robust fitness device. And don't get me wrong, Apple has done a great job with like the activity rings, I think tracking the different type of workouts you can do. Those are great, don't get me wrong, they've made a lot of strides since the Series 1. However, I don't think they've done it as well as Fitbit. So I wanted to kind of give you some of the main reasons why I'm going with the Fitbit Versa over the Apple Watch Series 5 when it comes to getting a fitness smartwatch. So for the first reason, it's battery life. This Apple Watch can maybe last me about a day and a half if I'm generous with it, if that's with it not being on 4G, I'm not taking calls on it that much. I'm literally using it to just kind of check a few notifications throughout the day. The Fitbit Versa 2 actually does five days of battery, which is amazing. Five days of battery is really, really good. That means you don't have to charge it really for the whole work week. And to me, that's something really important. And to that fact about the battery leads to really, I think one of the main reasons why I wanna go with the Fitbit Versa 2 is the sleep tracking. And the Fitbit Versa 2 actually has a thing called the sleep score, which will basically kind of take the records of how you're sleeping throughout the week and give you a, an overall sleep score of how you can improve it. And to me, that is amazing. In order to track my sleep on the Apple Watch, I had to download, I had to pay like three or four bucks to buy a sleeping app. And then once I bought the app for my watch, I usually have to put my, my Apple Watch on the charger around like 8 p.m. and then try to remind myself, if I can even remind myself, to put the watch on before I go to sleep and then it'll track it for me. It's not native to the Apple Watch, which kind of blows my mind, but Sleeping is such a huge part when it comes to health, wellness, your energy, how productive you are, and to be able to track that and see how you can improve it is literally game changing. That leads me to the third point, which all that sleep tracking data leads into the Fitbit app. The Fitbit app is literally one of the best apps that you can use. It's the user interface of the Fitbit app is amazing. I love it. I'm trying to think of some apps that I really like the user interface of and really Fitbit comes to mind. Like I just love how it has the graphs, it has your whole profile on one area. It's just very, it's very user friendly and I feel like I understand it a lot better and going through it, it's very smooth. I just really like the Fitbit app itself compared to, you know, a lot of the other apps that I have on my phone. So compared to the Apple Watch, from a native perspective, looking at the health area, it's kind of confusing. It has a lot of numbers everywhere. Um, it's a lot of different like graphs and different things, but it's not as like user intuitive, if that makes sense. Now, the last and final reason why I really wanted to get the Versa 2 over the Series 5 is because they made a lot more um, extra features and integrations with the Fitbit Versa 2. The first thing being Amazon Alexa, where does this say here? The Amazon Alexa built-in voice. So I have it actually, I have an Alexa dot that I'm gonna do a review on, but this can connect with Alexa, which is really, really cool when it comes to um, doing any type of voice activated stuff. So I don't know exactly the features of it, but I think it is cool how they do have it in there. And then of course they also have a Spotify integration. So I'm guessing you can download playlists from there. And then the last thing, the last extra feature I really am looking forward to is the Fitbit premium coaching app or subscription. Again, as a health coach, it's great to have all this data, right? You get to see how much you sleep, you get to see, you can track how much you eat, how much you work out, how many calories you burned, how many steps you took, but all of that doesn't matter unless you know what to do with it, right? It's great to have all that information, but if you have no clue what to do with it, how does it serve you? That's like a doctor telling you, well, your XYZ pounds, um, your blood is this. It's like, okay, great. What does that mean I need to do to change it. And that's what I'm excited about, the Fitbit Premium Coaching Subscription. It's $10 a month, so I'm gonna try to try it out for maybe a month or two and do a, a review on the Coaching Premium app and see if it's something that is 
helpful for you reaching whether it's weight loss goals, gaining muscle, all that jazz. So I'm super excited and I did wanna go ahead and do a quick unboxing for you so you guys can see what is in the box, what comes uh, what comes in it, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, crack this puppy open. All right, so let's see how this guy opens up. Pretty cool. You have instructions, who cares about that? It looks like you have the longer band, the watch, and uh, this charger, which looks like it's like the same ones as always, where you just kind of sit it into the charger and then you plug it into the USB. Whew, ASMR. Is that how you spell it, ASMR, AMSR? I don't know. Here are the Fitbit Versa 2 and the Apple Watch size comparison. They really are about the same size, to be completely honest. I would say the Versa 2 is maybe a little bit more wider and a little bit more rectangle shape, and the Apple Watch is a little bit more of a square shape. But if I was to put it on, feels good, feels nice and light. Wow, feels super smooth. Like kind of feels like, I mean, it's similar to the Apple Watch, but it's just very, very seamless. I love it, I like that. I know they say you typically are supposed to like charge it before you turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on anyway. Wow, the screen's a lot brighter. So the screen's a lot brighter, um, definitely seems like I would have to kind of go through the whole Fitbit startup feature, which I think might take a little bit, but yeah, like I said, this is something that I'm excited to dive back into. I do think I'm gonna miss a lot of the Apple Watch features that I currently have. Again, it's just when you have an Apple product, all the Apple products just work better and are more integrated in it. So I do think it's gonna be an overall better experience with the Apple Watch, but I'm excited from the fitness feature side to have this Fitbit and I'm actually gonna work out actually after this video and tell you guys exactly how I like it from a fitness perspective and hopefully give you guys a review in 30 days. So let's go ahead and see if this app is good. So they're basically saying they have a new sleek look, calories burned for the day, track your exercise, two, how many pounds I've gained, water, logging your food. Um, and that's all under the today tab, discover tab. They have stats, guided programs, challenges, workouts. This right here is what I think people need. They need to find a, a, an, a way to see if they're on a fitness journey or trying to be healthier, trying to lose weight, trying to gain muscle. They need something to help keep them accountable and I think an app is an amazing way to do it. So yeah, I'm super excited to do a 30 day review which will be coming up in 30 days. And uh, yeah, which team are you? Are you team Fitbit or team Apple? Have you had both? Which one do you like better? Which one do you think is better for fitness? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and compel that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch y'all later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo! The Fitbit app, the Fitbit, Fitbit app. We're gonna be talking about the, oh, <laughs> if it doesn't work, then, oh. I might have to create a whole new one, aren't I? I think this is the password though. I thought this video was helpful. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe. Ugh.